Hey, this is Mr. Masonade, and what we're going to do in this video is take a look at two problems that involve simple interest. Now, in this video, we're going to specifically work through a problem where we have to find the annual interest rate. So they're going to give us the amount of interest that was made over a certain amount of time, which is also given, and what the principal is. So this problem reads, Emily borrowed $600 from a friend. After three years, she repaid the loan along with $108 in simple interest. What was the annual interest rate? All right, so first let's understand what simple interest is. So the formula to calculate simple interest is interest is equal to principal times rate times time. Now interest is just the extra amount paid in addition to the amount borrowed because of the interest rate. The principal is the initial amount borrowed or invested. The rate is the annual interest rate, which is what we're trying to find in this problem. And T, or time, is the length of time the money was borrowed, or invested, in this case, years. So our goal here is to find the rate, or the annual interest rate. So first, what we're going to do is substitute the known values. So we know what the principal is. The principal is equal to $600. We know what the interest, or the extra amount paid is. That is $108. And the length of time is given, which is three years. So now we're going to substitute these values into our simple interest formula, which gives us the equation 108 is equal to 600 multiplied by r times 3. All right, so now what we have is an equation where all we have to do is solve for r. So we're going to isolate the r in our equation. So first, let's go ahead and simplify the right side of our equation. We can multiply 3 times 600, which is 1,800. So now we have the equation 108 is equal to 1,800 multiplied by the rate. So whatever the interest rate is, multiplied by 1,800 will result in $108 of interest. So what we're gonna do is get that R by itself on one side by dividing 1,800 on both sides of our equation. And that gives us an R that is equal to 108 divided by 1,800. So after dividing 108 by 1,800, we end up getting the decimal value 0 0.06. And we move the decimal two places to the right to convert into a percentage, which would be a 6% interest rate, which is the annual interest rate on Emily's loan. So to summarize, we use the simple interest formula to solve for the annual interest rate by plugging in the values for principal, interest, and time, and then we isolated the rate. This gave us the interest rate of 6% per year. All right, let us go ahead and solve the next problem. This problem reads that Lucas took out a three-year loan to buy a motorcycle at a 5% simple interest rate. If he has to pay $900 in interest, how much principal did he borrow? All right, let's start by stating our interest formula, or I is equal to principal times rate times time. And then we're going to plug in all of the known values from the problem. All right, so they give how much he has to pay back in interest, which is $900. So we substitute i with 900 and set that equal to the principal, which is not given in the problem. That's what we have to determine. The rate is 5%, and that can be written as 0.05% multiplied by time, which in this case is three years. All right, next we're going to simplify our equation a bit. We're going to rewrite this as 900 is equal to, we're going to multiply these values first. Three times 0 0.05 is 0 0.15. And then we're going to multiply that product by P. All right, now we have to isolate P or the principal in this equation. And we do the inverse of multiplying by 0.15, which is to divide by 0.15. Now on the right-hand side of our equation, 0.15 and 0.15, or something divided by itself cancels out to be 1. That leaves us with a single P on one side. And on the other side, we have to take 900 and divide that by 0.15. All right, let us go ahead and do some quick math. We're going to take 900 divided by 15 hundredths. We have to move this decimal point two places to the right, which makes it 100 times bigger. So we have to add two zeros to make that number 100 times bigger. We put a decimal at the end and move it up. Now 15 goes into 90 six times. Six times 15 is exactly 90. Now, if you get zero as a remainder and the rest of the place values are occupied by zeros, you can just put zeros in those places. So we would say that Lucas initially borrowed 
$6,000 in principal. And at the end of that three years, he ended up paying $900 of interest on that $6,000. All right, so knowing the interest formula, or I equals PRT, will allow you to solve for any one of the four parts of your equation, as long as you are given the other three. So if you had to find interest, you'd have to know the principal, the rate, and the time. If you wanted to figure out how much time was given on that loan, you would have to know the interest, the principal, and the rate. So out of these four things, as long as you knew three out of any four of those parts, you can solve for that missing part.